Hey, we did our hero banner earlier and it looks fine, but I want to take it a stage further. So I just showed you a very basic image where we had a load amount of a state that was kind of like blank down here. So we could put the wording on so it looked okay. But what if you're using an image where it's a little bit busier and now all of a sudden your wording doesn't look good? I want to show you how you can make your wording stand out. And we are going to use a gradient overlay, but I want to talk to you about how we do that. It's really, really simple. So this is just a modification of what we already have have here. Now instead of completely modifying this, I'm just going to go over to my section and I'm going to duplicate because I want to show you what they both look like and then I'm going to get rid of the current one. But I just want to show you what that looks like. If I just scroll down, here we have the second version. I'm going to minimize this section and this is now the new one here. It might be a good idea to rename this and give it a different name, you know, based on the background image or something like that. What we're going to do is click on the section, go to style, and we are now going to pick a different background image. We are going to replace this one, and we are going to go for this image. I can't even see it. There it is. We're going to go for this image here. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure you can instantly see what's going on there. Let's just hit save. Let's go to preview. And we have a, uh, a picture of a lady of interest over there. And now you can clearly see the wording is completely washed out. Okay, we've got bright light coming through, you know, curtains as well. You can make out what's going on here, but the rest of it just looks completely wrong. So what could you do about this? Well, you could, if you want, apply an overlay completely to the whole of the image. So you could add like a, a dark background color onto it, make it a bit transparent. But then by doing that, wouldn't that then affect her as well? Because at the moment, my wording is on the left hand side. So what all I want to do is touch the left hand side of the picture. This is so simple. It's a little bit crazy. What we're going to do is go over to the section. By the way, I'm not touching any of the content, the heading, the text, the, the subheader, the buttons, none of that. I don't need to. I just want to add a bit of a background overlay. We click on section. We've already got a background image. Okay. We're going to scroll down until we get to gradient overlay. And then I'm going to go over here. Now I am going to come back onto which one of these you need to be clicking in a moment. But the first thing we're going to do is set our two colors. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set a dark color. Okay. So I'm going to pick a dark color. You can instantly see what's going on. However, I don't like how dark it is and I do want it to be a little bit transparent. So I'm going to start hitting the transparency, but I am then going to go down here and I'm going to make this be 0.55. So we've got a bit of a transparency color there. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say 60. So what I want is this overlay is going to come up to about 60% of the image and the final 40% will be left blank. So we're going to go with 60. Now I'm going to add in my second color, but my second color actually is just fully transparent. There is no color and instantly you can see what's happening there. As soon as I do that, you can't even see the background image now. So don't worry, it is still there. But the overlay now, by making it transparent, we get this like... Um, uh, a, a black color with 60% um, transparency, no, 55% uh, transparency, but it at the 60 point starts to blend in. So we've got a fully transparent color there. Color one, remember, we got that one. And color two is completely transparent, but I'm going to put the same number in, 60. Look what happens. I mean, if I had gone with a number that was less, you would have got it anyway. But if I go with a number that was higher than the 60, we get the blended in approach. You know, if you were to go with a full 100, it blends in a little bit smoother. You can still see a bit of a dark line there, but that's because the first one goes to 60. If you had left the first one at zero, I'll just show you here so you don't think I'm lying to you. You get more of a blender, but we are going with 60 because I want it all to be at the 60% point. Now let's just scroll back up here. We have what's known as the angle. If I hit in 90, you can see what happens. If I go with 45, you know, if I go with 32, you know, I don't know why, 30 even, but I'm going to go with 90. So I'm now getting this nice overlay. And the reason I've gone for 60 is, look, you can clearly see now it is nicely overlapping on the wording. But where is our background image? Well, look, over here at the moment, this is applying to everything. Well, not really. Let me just show you what happens. If I click text, it's actually applying it to the text, which is not great. OK, however, that functionality is there. If I do overlay, it is now appearing as an overlay. I do just want to show you about it. Look, this is what the default is. This is what you will always see. I would prefer it if Bricks had it the other way around. I get why they've got it, but I would prefer it the other way around because traditionally most of us tend to add the overlay onto an existing image that's already there. 
So when we now do that, if I now just save and we preview this, can you see the difference that we have here? The person of interest is still there, okay? Um, on her phone, I think it is. And we can clearly see the wording. If I had gone for a darker color, because I went for 0.55 in transparency, if I'd gone for 0.8, you would lose a lot of the detail. If I'd gone for 0.3, maybe, it, maybe the light would start affecting the contrast between the wording. But I hope this is all kind of making sense to you at the moment. And, and that is the really simplistic way of doing it. Of course, you can't stop here. You've got to now go over to your different breakpoints and obviously go over to your mobile. Now, remember, we did a duplicate of the previous hero banner. And in our previous hero banner, if we go to the background, we put in a different sized image. So what we've now got to do is change this image out. There's the original image. And here I have a copy. Uh, we're going to do the same things within the previous video, which is we edit the image. And I'm now going to scale this to be about 700 pixels high. You could go bigger if you want. 700 seems to work for me. Once you've hit the scale button, you come out and then you go back in again because now it's got the new size. Hit edit image. You could do this in Photoshop, Canva or wherever you want. I'm going to hit crop. I'm going to now make this a bit narrower. Down here, you can't see the value, but it's in this area here. Leave the 700 as it is. And I'm going to change the width to be 500. So I get it to be that. Or you could just shrink it like that however you want to do it. And I'm now going to decide on well, what bit of um, how will it appear on the mobile. So I'm actually just going to cut off a tiny bit of her there because I do want to make sure we get all of the wording. So we're going to go with something like that. Going to hit the crop bit and we are now going to save. So we've got the person of interest, but we also get a bit of the table, the cup, and we get the curtain as well. So hopefully it's going to look okay. Now what we're going to do is insert that. So when we've dropped in our image, that now looks okay. Now, bear in mind, though, this is something you must consider is the whip is 477. I'm going to put this on at 378 because that's an iPhone XR size now, okay? Um, and it's good to be, uh, it's good to kind of set things up for the smaller mobile before you start thinking about, well, everyone's got the big size. So now we've got our image. A little bit of her is cut off. I'm going to go down here and set this to be a center right. I mean, you could even go for a bottom right like this if you want. It doesn't really make a difference, but it kind of just roots the image down or center right works perfectly fine for me as well. Now, the thing is, though, this gradient isn't now going all the way across. I mean, you can see it there. Can you see the gradient? It is kind of at the 60% mark. It's just down there. I am now going to need that to kind of, I mean, look, at the moment, it kind of works. If I'm really, really honest, I don't need to change it. But what if I did want to change it? Because this is important now. If I go over to the gradient overlay, the values are blank. It is showing you how it was set on the desktop. However, you have the authority to modify that for the mobile. So if I go in and I go and add in two colors now, uh, I'm going to do the same thing we had before. I'm going to pick the black color. I'm going to make it transparent. I'm going to set it to be 5.5. Five. This is why it's good to kind of be clear on what your settings were so you can apply the same thing. I'm going to put this as 60%. Uh, we'll leave it at 60%, okay? We're then going to go to do the second color, make that fully transparent, and we'll put that as a 60 as well. Make sure the angle is 90, which it is, and make sure it applies to the overlay. Now, when you look at that, if you look carefully, it, it seems okay, but we then have this button that sticks out and the bit of the and is kind of beyond as well. So you've got to now make a decision. Are you going to now kind of cover over a bit more, something like that? And I would say, just do it, do it to both of them. Or are you just going to go, you know what? for the mobile will go all the way over. Um, now I am just going to do that just for the sake of it. I will put it back to 70, okay? If I do that, okay, and I save this and I go back to the desktop, look, the desktop is, for, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, I've just realized something on this section over here for the original background, this is on center left. It is meant to be on center right. There we go. It's meant to be on center right all the way across for all of them. So when we preview this on the desktop, it still looks fine. When we go over to the mobile and I put this at 378, it is now overlaying all of it. But you can make that decision over what you want. I mean, I would say that it's absolutely fine to just be 70 and we'll do 70 over here as well. I think that's totally fine. So that is a different looking. I mean, 
let me just give you an example, okay, uh, just to kind of make the point here. I see a lot of websites that have these kind of hero banners like this, where you got an image of someone and it tells you a bit about them. And it's okay. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But there is something more warm, isn't there, about that image? What, you know, when you, when you see that, I just feel like there's something nicer about something like that with someone sat there and you got the wording there as well. But it feels like, I don't know, even though they're not looking at you, they're looking at the word. So it's a great image I picked there, right? Anyway, look, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, live the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.